This is Bruce Boudreaux, and it's time for Clay's Canucks Commentary Live. Let's go with Clay right now. Hey, Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary Live, presented to you by Van City Experts Real Estate. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take, for Wednesday, March the 8th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for Daily Canucks Insight. That's positive, timely, and trustworthy. If you were with me at game over vancouver thank you and i'm not sure if she's still here in the chat but i have to give a huge shout out a huge thank you to my co-host kaya now kaya she was going to be my guest originally so that part was normal she was going to be my guest but i was supposed to be the host and she was going to be the guest but then as just before i went on my battery said on my laptop said two percent oh there she is there she is. She said the intro music jump scared her. Kai is the best. I uh, I admire. I've always liked her ever since I met her. But I have a I admire her and have a, such a deep respect for her. That's growing day by day. And today was one of those days where I had two percent on my battery. I thought by the time I plugged in my uh, the camera, the microphone, that the computer is going to crap out. So Kaya, in in the span of two minutes, basically did everything, set everything up. And she became the de facto host. I became the guest. We were co-hosting together, basically. But she was running everything for me. So that show was great. We had a lot of people watching. It ended. We had a good time talking about the Canucks game. And then I said, okay, I'll, I'll bump this stream by about 15 minutes. I'll charge my battery. And then I guess there was something wrong with my battery. Because it still says 1% available plugged in. So <laughs> if this stream just craps out in the middle because it can't handle the the camera or the or the microphone then it'll just crap out and we'll just have a abbreviated stream tonight i have a feeling knock on wood that it's gonna last it lasted 45 minutes with kaya and it should last now as long as i don't move as long as i don't uh yes kaya rocks kaya rules all those things as long as i don't touch anything so we'll, we'll just see how this goes and i'll warn you in advance if it craps out I won't come back. We won't try and make it work. I'll just say thanks and uh, and uh, thanks for being here for the for the time that we were here. So I'll do my regular intro. We'll have a regular show tonight. But that was my long way of warning you that um, something might go funky. And knowing my luck, it probably will. But before that, let's give some love to the first donation, the first donor of the night. This is legendary Lucas Gates. Five dollar donation. After watching tonight's game, this team is officially a retooler. A lot of promise for the future. Whatever happens, happens. Like, sub, and member. Yes, Lucas was at the game tonight. Two nights after I was at the game with him on Monday night. And Lucas has seen two wins. He's two for two, getting on the Jumbotron before overtime. So uh, great job, Lucas. And thank you very much for uh, the donation. So that's a great segue into things that you can do to get more involved in the show. What you can do is, uh, mod- I'll say this first, moderators, thank you in advance. Do what you got to do. Members, legends, Hall of Fame franchise members, thanks to all of you for your support. And thanks to everyone else, no matter where you're watching from, whether you're in my beautiful neighborhood of Steveston and Richmond, the city in the lower mainland province, country, continent, around the world. Thank you for being here. I know that you could be doing anything else, watching anyone else, getting ready for work, school, or better, all three. But the fact that you're here with me, I appreciate you. I I never always appreciate you. I never take you for granted. So let's do this. Let's do this. S- Subscribe so you can get active in the chat section and you get my videos every day. Like the video. There's 55 of you in here waiting for me on a delayed stream on a 1% battery and only 15 likes. I think that deserves about 25 likes or so. So like the video if you're in here. Like the fact that we're together. Like the fact that we're talking about a Connects win, even if it's not something that everyone wants. You can leave a donation like Lucas did. You can gift a membership, which is equivalent to a $5 donation, and you gift a membership, which is kind of cool. And then you can always as well become a member upgrade your membership if you're listening on a podcast platform make sure you rate and review and then as always i'll go for the first 10 or 15 minutes do the mitchell response read and then i'll turn it over to all of you great now everyone's typing in their battery percentages on their phone or laptop which is fine i appreciate it i uh, you guys know i i love i love you guys getting active in the chat section even if for some reason you're sharing 
battery percentages on your your viewing device which is i would say definitely a first in on these streams <laughs> fine 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 at one percent on my computer and so it's not charging so i gotta figure out what's going on here and i'm oh it's a bad charging day overall i'm at 14 percent on my phone i better plug that into who who knows about my airpods all right we got some 100 percent in there as well carol Let's give some love to Carol for this donation. $10. Hi, Clay. Nice to be here tonight. We have a lot of medical problems lately going in and out of the hospital. I'm sorry I missed so much. Never, ever apologize for missing these shows. I love having you here, Carol. We love having you here. But in the big scheme of things, they are just YouTube shows. Your health is way more important. I know some people are not happy, but I am with Vancouver winning. Yeah. And, and I always say thank you. Let's give some love to Carol in the chat. I will always say I will never ever tell someone how to be a fan. I will never ever tell someone they should cheer for win or loss. I tell someone how much time, energy, or money they should spend on this team. Just like I would never tolerate it if someone told me how to cheer for the team. And just be careful when, uh, whether you are a tankist or an anti-tankist, um, feel free to express your opinion for sure. For sure, express your opinion. That's what the whole point of having a show like this is, so we can share opinions. But don't ex don't make someone feel bad for not sharing your opinion. I think that's that's common sense, right? And moderators, uh, I think that is uh, that is something to look out for. It's one thing to share your opinion, but you should not be uh, putting down someone else's opinion because it does not jive with yours. Just incredible. Another legend. Give him some love. $10 donation. I didn't mind tonight. Best part of the night was meeting Connor. Yes. Might have been one of the last people to meet and speak to him after my shift tonight before he leaves tomorrow. What a legend. He's a great guy. I got to meet him on Monday. By the way, Justin, I was going to text you. How do you get the longer tweets? I noticed your tweets are way longer than 280 characters and you didn't even, you don't even have Twitter blue. So Justin, how do you get those long tweets? Thank you for the donation. Let's give Justin some love. Let's also give our friend Harry some love for his $5 donation. Hi, Clay. How are you? Can we catch Canucks get together in the near future? Well, um, the next one is Sunday, April the 2nd, the night where the Canucks host the LA Kings. I mentioned that on the stream on Sunday. So that would be the next get together. Oh, you're talking about Canucks game. Um, can we catch a Canucks game together in the future? My dance card for the Canucks is pretty much full until the end of this season based on where I'm going, which games I'm going to, where I'm sitting and with who. But um, I would be happy to, to chat with you at one of the games during one of the intermissions for sure. Thank you very much to everyone who has donated tonight. So let me say a couple of things about tonight's game. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. Wednesday night is my church night. So I didn't get, even with the later start, I only caught the second half of the second period and then all of the third and the massive 20 seconds of overtime. I was grateful that Kaya was able to watch the whole thing because she made our show, our game over show more coherent because at least one of us watched the entire show. Now, uh, no, JC, truly, uh, just, just so I, I want to address this. Um, it actually wasn't targeted at you specifically. I've seen many people, including you, admittedly, um, be quite strong. And there's been nothing that I think has been um, crossing the line. But um, I want to keep it that way, quite frankly. And I want this place to be a safe space for people to share their opinions, including you. So please, no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. You can certainly be passionate. We've had some. Of, we've had some passionate people on here before people that are passionate about tanking, people that are passionate about not tanking. And I love that. The, the passion is the key word, but also respect has to be in there as well. So it was not directed at you. So don't feel like it was. It's directed at all 75 people in the chat, quite frankly. it's um, And we, we do, for the most part, really, really good in here. So don't sweat it. Don't sweat it at all. Tonight's game was for lack of a better term, very unintense. Uh, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's because at least when they played against, well, Toronto, that was very intense. 
the Nashville game, there's more intensity, including a fight, because Nashville is battling for a playoff spot. The this was a battle of two of the seven six, two teams in the in the bottom seven of the league, and it looked like it. There was only two penalties, and not that just because your penalties mean it's an intense game, but it is kind of one one indication. So only two penalties, both taken by the Canucks. Only 33 hits combined, where we've seen sometimes games where the Canucks have 33 hits on their own. So um, it wasn't the the most intense affair. And I think you kind of saw that in some of the goals. You had Troy Terry just skating to the front of the net uh, untouched for the first goal. You had JT Miller uh, on a very weak play by the Anaheim goaltender. You guys saw Game Over Vancouver. You know I can't pronounce his name, so I'll call him uh, Dostal because it rhymes with Postal. I'll just call him Post. No, I shouldn't say that. Uh, Dostal gives up the puck. Pedersen, nice, uh, nice interception and feeds it to Miller with a, a beautiful backhand pass. So it's 1-1, one, one, another shorthanded goal, which is pretty crazy. Then you had Kuzmenko. That one had a bit of intensity. At least he was going to the net, trying to center it to PD. PD gets a high stick, but then the puck goes in off of a, an Anaheim player, so 2-1. Then the Brock McGinn goal, he, they win a face-off. Anaheim wins a face-off. He just kind of skates casually towards the front of the net, and no one picks him up. So And then and even, even the overtime goal, I, I love JT Miller. And I, I really do. Uh, I think he's a good player. He's been great under Rick Tockett. I think uh, he's sometimes, I don't know, misunderstood, but maybe miscast or mischaracterized. But even that goal, like it was a nice goal. It was a wicked shot, but it wasn't like a screaming intense goal or for sure. So overall, but I love to hear from like Lucas and Justin and anyone else that was at the game. I think KT was at the game as well. Anyone who was at the game, um, let me know like what what it was like in there because Toronto obviously the crowd was amazing. Nashville, I thought on Monday the crowd was pretty good. I was at the game. I'm going on Saturday with Gail, although we'll be we'll be in the suite, so I'm not sure how how much of a feel we'll get. And then uh, yeah, I want to hear from you guys that were at the game tonight. Let me know what you what it was uh, what it was like. Yeah, uh, KT is saying it was funny watching kids trying to start a wave and it just kept dying in your section. Well, if you're in the lower bowl, the, the wave always dies in the lower bowl because all those lower bowl people are so snob. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yes, the upper bowl, I'm surprised that actually the wave doesn't go faster in the upper bowl because it's smaller. There's less people up there. So you think you would just get around faster, but I, no, it, it always goes, not symmetrically, that's not the rare, but, but in sync, it's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know why we're talking about the wave so much. So overall, the Canucks, and then I'm just looking. I didn't pull up the stats. There's hardly anything to show you. But the best players were the best players. JT Miller, two points, two goals. Pedersen, two assists. Bovili had an assist. Kuzmenko had a goal. And Quinn Hughes had an assist. So the five guys, five players, I guess, that you'd expect. Maybe Besser or Garland would be in there too. But the five players that you expect to get points did indeed get some. Uh, five hits for Dakota Joshua leading the hit brigade. Three blocks for Noah Juleson, which is impressive. Shots on goal. Connor Garland had five. And then Demko makes 20 of 22 saves. So overall, pretty um, nondescript game. Nondescript game. And I, I, I'll stop. Well, I don't know if I'll stop talking about it, but it, it is a story that the Canucks keep winning when most people don't want them to win. And I think that's why there's some disagreements in the chat all the time is, is there people that thought this was our best chance to get a franchise player when we were bottom five in the league. Now we're bottom seven in the league and now we're tied with, with Philly and St. Louis. So if we win a bit more than them over the next week or so, we can move up to ninth worst in the league, shooting up all the way to 24th spot. So, you know, a couple of things, and uh, yeah, Tyler just mentioned talking, doing a great job as coach. Yeah, we see better penalty kill, better structure, shorthanded goals. They don't get hemmed in their own end a lot. And remember, and this is a point that Kai and I made. Oh, thank you, Jay, for the pronunciation. Lukash Dostal. Stall. Lukash Dostal. Dostal. It's okay, but I don't have to say him for the rest of the game. Uh, his name for the rest of the, the the stream now. Remember, this is a the Canucks have won now seven out of the last nine. No, that's not right. Three out of the last four. Four out of the last six. Five out of the last eight. So they, they won six out of the last nine. That makes more sense. And uh, three in a row. I'm not dancing because I didn't promise to dance. It's not like I have to dance every time they win three in a row. But I will say this. 
if they win on Saturday four in a row um, against against uh, Ottawa on my Sunday night stream, I will break it down like crazy. And and then um, I will ask you at the end of the stream what dance you want me to do. But save save your dance suggestions until the very end. And remember, half of them will probably um, end up injuring me or paralyzing me for life. Now, there's 84 of you in here, which is really, really good. And why don't I do my mid-show sponsor read, and then I'll throw to all of you. Shout out to my primary sponsor, Vancey Experts Real Estate. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Thank you to my secondary sponsor, Perform and Transform, personal training weight loss. Sign up now for a free seven, no, 21-day weight loss challenge. Use the link ptformweightloss.com slash cannot clay and coach Patrick will contact you. Let's go. Um, Gassy Jack Art. Thank you, maker of this fine artwork. Thank you to Monkey Nine Brewing, my eternal sponsor. And thank you to uh, Vessi Footwear. Use the link tinyurl.com slash Vessi Clay and get $15 off. Uh, no, a free pair of socks off your next purchase of Vessi's. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, become a member, upgrade your membership, leave a donation, gift a membership. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, make sure you rate and review. I want to address one thing that I said really, um, that I said in jest, and I should be more careful with my words because it's someone I respect. I think I, I made a comment about doing a dance move and hurting myself or uh, paralyzing myself. And I did not mean that to offend anyone. And I know there's someone in here. Uh, I think Jay says is paralyzed for life. I'm not sure if that was a follow-up from something else. And Jay, without making this really awkward, but we've been friends for almost a decade now. Um, I know that you are um, in a, a wheelchair and I don't know the, the full situation. So if I said anything, if I said something out of line or if I, <laughs> obviously it was very unintentional and I apologize um, if that did offend you or anyone. And I certainly will be more careful with my words. Um, my, my main point was there are certain dance moves that I certainly should not attempt. The laptop right now is at 1%. So it's weird. I, I think my the, the battery must be busted. I must be running on power only. And as soon as I unplug it, it'll say your battery is low. Plug your laptop in. So I'm not sure how i'm going to move it to work tomorrow i guess i just gotta get ready to to plug it in to plug it in and and i gotta get my it people to look at it for sure well right, canucks fans let's okay jay oh phew jay says uh not offended at all yeah I, thank you thank you that that's uh that's um well I, no, I appreciate that i still gotta be more careful though your questions about the team about tank not tanking about whatever you want, what you saw on the ice today, about how to charge a battery, <laughs> whatever you want. Let's go. What do you think happens first? What do you think happens first? Bear resigning or McDonough making a decision? I don't know what McDonough's drop dead deadline is. I think we get that decision before Bears because Bear technically we have them under contract until july the first and i think mcdonough will need to make a decision before july 1st so if i had to pick between those two fangirl i'm going an aiden mcdonough decision hey kempner Kempner, you're out of town i saw aren't you in la team tank is frustrated but as this team is rolling i'm not sure why people are still hating on jt he's what we need i get that people don't like the contract but at least he's producing yep i, I do think he's gonna win the uh win the fans back around i really do confidence is always a good thing never want to ruin that especially with young guys that's a really good point if someone else said that <laughs> i appreciate that love jay i heard that when you plug in your laptop for too long it damages the battery and doesn't last long okay that that might be true actually harry very disappointed in how more teams aren't choosing not to wear pride jerseys yes the minnesota wild were the latest to to withdraw from that Someone got to start a tank for Bedard chant at the games. That's the only way our voices will be heard. The, we need to tank, bring up players from Astrid. I'm not trying to get a 10, 15 pick every year. I understand your frustration, but um, you can't tell JT Miller, Elias Patterson, Andre Kuzmenko, Quinn Hughes, not to try. Kuzmenko needs a banana. Okay. <laughs> 
I agree with Kempner. He's producing JT. Yep. Vancouver has always been a conflicting thought mentality in how this team should be run. I mean, this has been happening since as far back as I recall. That is fair. I can't wait for the Canucks to draft a third liner at 13th that will play for us in three years. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Ricky. <laughs> is it me or do you, do you also have trouble recognizing which Sedin is which without them wearing their jerseys? After the OT goal, they show one of the Sedins. I had no clue. No, um, Gurpreet, that's cool. I can tell who's who. Um, Henrik, Henrik's face is more like sm smushed together vertically. That's the worst explanation ever. Daniel just seems to have a longer, more elongated, fa elongated face. Um, I can just tell. I can just tell who's Henrik and who's Daniel, but I'm not saying that everyone has to. What are your thoughts on the Guillaume Breezeball contract extension? It's good. In, in low risk, good depth, seventh, eighth defenseman, two way contract the first year, um, which which means it, it obviously helps the Canucks and if, if he and it incentivizes him to play really well. Then hit the second year though is a one way contract, so um, he he gets paid the same no matter where he's at. It's just think of a two way contract you can pay it two ways minor salary or the pro salary one way contract you only get one way you get your your pro contract so he kind of earned it he deserves it and it gives him just more incentive especially in the first year to play really well in la nice 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 hey jay jt is 56 and 62 yep is it true rejected a miller trade that's up for debate how close they actually were never seems to matter how much we finish we always get screwed in the draft lottery we'll probably pick 13 to 15 we'll see patrick alvin is here name still spelt wrong but uh making a push for the playoffs looking at jt miller now versus horvat's contract in new york so far i'm starting to think we made the right move but i'm holding my judgment yeah that that's that's i think that's very wise because we can't judge it on the first month of Horvat being in New York. Are the Canucks better without Horvat? I uh, no, I don't think so because we are so weak down the middle. So I definitely think, I just think with Horvat here and the Canucks playing how they are playing now, we would be a lot better. So I wouldn't say they're better without. Adam, I use a Sony ZV-1. It's a DSLR. I've for my Zoom chats and stuff. I use a, a cheaper webcam, and that's great. If you're thinking of doing a basic stream, that's awesome, Adam. That's awesome. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, just reach out to me. Daniel has a wider jawline. I've never thought about it that way. Which Canucks RFA do you think resigns next? Hmm. Looking at the list of RFAs. PD doesn't technically have to sign. The ones Krastov, I think they were going to want to keep him. Juleson, perhaps. Bear, Dermot. I'm going to go Krastov is next. Kratsov. Hronik only got in town earlier this week, so hopefully we'll hear more about his status tomorrow or Friday. Horvat's face-offs. Yeah, that's true. Do you think Canucks will play mini games on stretch next year? I, I think, yeah, I think they'll be in the hunt next year. I really do. Bears qualifying offers 2.2 attainable. You know, if he, I, I think Kai, it's going to depend on how well he finishes the season. I think he's had stretches where he's been pretty good, but he, he's also had a couple of down stretches. Obviously having his injury doesn't help. So I, I think if he does well over the last part of the season, I, I think, um, I don't know. I think he, he stands to make a tiny bit more than that, to be honest. Yeah, Murray, RFAs mean we have basically first rights on, on these guys. Is Horvat better in New York? Uh, not from a points perspective. Miller's great on faceoffs. Yeah, not as good as Horvat, though. Do you think Anthony Bovillier will sign long term once the contract expires? I think it's a 50 50. I think it depends how he does next year. Third to fourth liner is generous. Usually we sign those for 12 million combined. That's taking those roster spots away from our prospects and forever relegating them to the AHL. Well, that's strong, Justin. <laughs> PD has reached 80 points for the first time in his career. Will he reach out? I think he will get to 100. 
Are there any good free agents this season from other teams? I do think with Larkin and Horvat and others being off the table, I do think I've been hearing that this is a weaker free agent class this year, but it's, it's counteracted or counter it's balanced by a very strong draft class. Obviously not all those players will play right away. PD is qualifying as 8.82. Yeah. I think you just sign them already to a 10.5, $11 million contract and skip all those shenanigans. Farm team being in Abbotsford versus Utica or HL team is much better. Yeah. It's uh, everything seems a lot stronger down there for sure. Correct. Um, with every win, we lessen our chances of getting Bedard. Where's OEL, Bear, Dermot, Ole, and HL, Deviant, besides injured to living? Yeah, we are doing this with the defense of Juleson, Breezeball, Wolanin, and, and Burroughs. We had Steelman, but he's gone. Dermot's hurt. Bear's hurt. OEL's hurt. Shen's traded. Yeah, so I've just rattled off 11 or 12 defensemen that we've used this season. You know, I don't know... Uh, I don't know a lot about the prospects. I think if I, oh, I I would say Mitchkov earlier, but I've been hearing a lot of good things about Carlson as well. So I truly would be fine with either. I know Carlson will get to the NHL probably a bit faster. Ronit's QO is 5.28. Ah, uh, thank you. Kaya, going with all the stats today. Utica did have some good teams. I agree. So you're value saying Ronit is a really comparable role. Is a Riley comparable an extension could start around six to seven. Yeah, that makes sense, Justin. Um, I definitely think he would make uh Myers money for sure. For sure. Lego did a video earlier saying that Anthony Bavilli has done better than Horvat since the trade. Uh, from a stats perspective, that is true. I haven't watched enough of Horvat's games though to say that uh, Bovili has been outright better, but from a stats perspective, it is true. Myers is a good veteran, I put in the same ca category of Corey Perry. Give him the C. Uh, no, thanks. Also, you're right. I'm not missed. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. I, it, it was just a guess, a wild guess that you were not the actual GM of the Canucks. How excited are you with our Russian players? Uh, very. Love Kuzmenko. I think Podkos is still going to be a beast. I really do. Mikheyev, I want to see more from him. Obviously, Kratsov, a good start. So, so far, so good. Just don't bring back Tramkin. How many free agency signings will the Canucks acquire? Maybe two, two. Myers is awful. William, oh, that's cool. I won't make it all the way until 12, but happy early birthday, William. That is awesome. Do we get Luke Shen back next year? It's very rare that a guy, a player gets traded and then he goes back to the team that traded him. Although that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate like kind of uh, hometown thing is you, you get traded get your team some discounts and then you come back to that team. It's very rare. Lucic will be a UFA. Oh, that's nice. You go ahead and sign him, Kaya. Any takers, Shen could return in free agency. Um, yeah. Do, do, do some people think that Shen will return? If Lazar wasn't traded, could we see the Canucks extend him long-term or short-term deal? Uh, no, he did not need to be extended. He was already on contract for two more years. A million each. Lichich don't play here. Good. I feel like Myers is better without the other demon in the lineup or the other so bad that he automatically looks better. No, he's been good. Myers has been good. The buyout option is awful. A massive long-term hit being screwed this year for years. Yeah, the OEL buyout, there's like only two bad years, but otherwise, next year, it's that's basically like nothing. 150 on the cap, 150,000. Yes, bro, we, we recognize that he was missing now for sure. Uh, he scored a goal, and and Talkit likes that line, Jay, of him pot goes in and dries. Team Tank is not going to catch the Blue Jackets, blocks Blackhawks, San Jose Sharks. Change my mind. Can't change your mind. Ryan Reeves, Vancouver. <laughs> you like him? You like him? I meant to say this last stream, but Canucks used to be Team Sweden. Now they are going after Barbara Chevron Gavin Carl. Canucks going to be Team Gold Star. Isn't that tampering by expression interest before free agency? Um, it depends what you mean by interest, I guess. Yes, but a lot of Russians for sure. Thoughts of putting Patterson in reserves or HL to boost other players' confidence? Nope. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Now I know for sure you're not the GM. Team Russia line. Yeah, one of them's got to be able to play center, though. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Mott and Stetcher, both UFAs. Interesting. I did think of Stetcher today when I saw Trevor Zegers. Bunting a UFA. 
Was it weird when the Flames traded Brent Ritchie for Nick Ritchie? No, aside from the name, I guess that's what you're getting at. Where do you think we end up in the standings? Um, eighth worth. I think we're going to actually finish ahead of one of St. Louis or Philly. Hughes should be captain. I really like his interviews. He says, yeah, he's a very bright guy for sure. Edler is UFA too. What are you doing? Are you on like a uh, cap friendly and just searching by free agents or what? Ask for free agents to connect to the third line center, like Hedl or Barbashev. Alex chase on. I do think PD gets a hundred. Older, old, very good. I miss Stetcher. You know, I, I think Stetcher was okay. I, I think he was a tiny bit overrated from a standpoint of uh, a fan base will always tend to overhype the guys they like, but I still no, I still like him. Chatting with a friend of mine whose brother is HL in the Columbus system. Local kid tried to ask me to put a good word in, said can't ta- tried to ask me to put a good word in. Oh, and you said you couldn't because of tampering. Well, very good. Good discretion shown there. Oli you levy. Okay, Kai. And now you're now I think you're you're reaching a little bit. <laughs> so according to you, we could have a team that has Lucic, Yolevi, Chase on, Edler, Stetcher. Myers breaks hockey stick, so Garland gives his to defend. What would you expect? Thoughts? Um, I think I think Tyler Myers would not be used to playing with a stick that's two feet shorter than usual. Trade everyone except Miller and build off of him. Okay. Demko is being outstanding, Kempner. Demko is being outstanding. Have I considered setting up the show for Collins? Not really, Scott. You lose a lot of control. And I get way more done this way by reading your comments as opposed to a call. Because I'll be honest, with a call, you never know who you're going to get. And that person could be really bad. They could be really bad on air. And then now I'm stuck listening to someone babble for two or three minutes. You might be thinking the same thing about me. And I I would just lose an element of control. Whereas this way, I can spend as long as a sh- or as short as I want on a particular question. and. Uh, yeah, I, I, good suggestion, but I, I don't think that's where I want to go. Is Magna UFA? I don't know, Ricky. You find out. Do you think Canucks will most likely retire Brandon Sutton's number? No, they will not. He, I can, I will bet anyone anything that they will not retire Sutter's number. Do you think we're keeping PDG? Talk it loves him, so yes. Would I want Edler or Stetcher back? Stetcher because of the age difference. Is Dilia done? No, I think he's going to be the, I think he's going to play some more games this season. He's the backup. Seelovs was, oh, I, I guess you're talking about next year. I expect Seelovs to still be the number one in Abbotsford for one more year. I really do. What's the age you consider old in hockey? Well, you could ask Kaya what's the age he considers old in life. But if you're talking about what's the age you consider old in hockey, yeah, late twenties. It sounds so weird. Definitely uh, once you hit thirty, for sure. But that doesn't mean there can't be good players who are of that age. Of course, Michael Grabner's available. Bring your Levy back. Retire Summers number for what? Thoughts on of? Um, yeah, I don't know who that is. Thirty is old. Dealy is UFA after this year. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, no, then you don't bring him back. Then you uh, you bring up a different veteran in for sure. JT Miller in his sometimes career game since being traded to the Canucks, Miller has had more points than Rantanen, Stamkos, Ovechkin, Barkov, Tavares, Crosby. Okay, that's pretty impressive when you put that list out, Rosie. I do think the Canucks will get a shutout. They're playing some pretty bad teams, even though today was the bad team. And Demko is playing very well. I don't know what Tanev's contract to 20... One, two, probably one more year. Didn't he sign for four times four? So, but I don't see him coming back. Do I see Demko Silas becoming a long Schneider in the near future? Yes, but not next year. I think at least one more year from now. Whatever age over your tires at, I'll consider. <laughs> yeah, he was like 50 and still playing. JT Miller is not overrated, underrated. He is just under the Vancouver microscope, like every player making more than five million. <laughs> Kudobin, Abby Canucks, love it. Watch us win the lotto, but say we're tampering by expressing interest in Barbershop and impose a penalty giver pick back, cap recapture. There you go. Oh, very good. AHL All-Star Classic. 
Yes, uh, we've talked about Livingston on here before. Uh, I don't know a lot about him, though, admittedly. Run the table, that would be ironic, very ironic. If you can morph three current players, current or not, into one player and sign the Canucks. I want Gretzky's vision with McDavid's speed and Ovechkin's power, yet skill, not just strong. Yeah, Miller Miller has been good for sure. UFA in 2024, that makes sense. Connection, retire others number. I think to me, he's a ring of honor guy. What will happen to Martin next year? I think he'll come in with a fresh mind and try and battle for a backup spot. We have him under contract for more year. Yeah, I just think he wasn't ready to be a starter. All right, we are close to 12, so it's getting close to William's birthday. I'm not sure if we're going to get all the way there, but I will say this um, as I want to wrap up. If the, the little self serving, but who cares? We're, again, when does that stop me before? If the Canucks win on Saturday, making it four in a row, I, if you want, I will dance for you on Sunday. What a, that's just out of context. That's just a weird, weird phrase. And what is this? What was just someone just turned on my stream right now for whatever reason? And all they heard was, if the Canucks win, I will dance for you on Sunday. That doesn't sound right. So I'll tell you what, uh, put in the chat what dance move you want to see me attempt. And if there's something in there that, uh, or maybe the answer is simply none. You don't want to, uh, you see me do the gritty. You see me do the running man. I'm not sure if I've done the moonwalk yet. Uh, there's a couple others I have, have up my sleeve, but what <laughs> Bruce, that is me. I just got here. Amazing. What dance do you want me to attempt on Sunday night? Only if the Canucks win on on Saturday, we got the WAP. See, I don't even know what that is. We got Fortnite dance. Oh, we got break dancing. Yeah, like I break my bone. I've never wanted to watch. I've never wanted the Canucks to lose so much. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Did I miss something? Chris, did Chris do something exciting? Did I completely miss something? I see people welcoming Chris to the channel. Chris, what did you do? Or is this your first time here? Oh, first time viewer. There you go. Your channel is great. Thank you. Would you consider Boston the best single year NHL team? Uh, the best year? In, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to go back and look at other records, but certainly the most... Um, yeah, the most dominant regular season in recent history but i admittedly I have to go back i seem to have colorado i remember colorado have a really good season but maybe but yeah I, I wish i could give you a better answer for your first question thank you chris for being here but yeah there uh, boston is a really good team and the east is going to be fascinating to watch a dance off with who get sturdy is that did i did i just say something bad what does that mean is that a dance a fortnight dance KT, take take you know take your fantasies out of this here. I'm not going to dance on a pole, okay? What are you talking about here? The Harlem Shake, nice. The Chicken Dance, the Wednesday Dance. What is that? See, I'm not very cool. The Lawnmower, the Floss, a eh, Macarena, the Chicken Dance, a dance. Okay, what is wrong with you guys? We got a second vote for a pole. There, I think something is wrong with you guys. The WAP, yo, I know what the WAP is for sure, for sure. That's that you're talking my, uh, you're talking my era there. No, I've not tried the dance, the chicken. I'm just kidding. I know that the chicken big mat just came out. No, I've not tried it yet. The WAP, is that like the WAP? The WAP, that doesn't sound right. The MJ Moonwalk, hee <laughs> hee, or is it hee <laughs> hee, or is it the Michael Jackson hee <laughs> hee? Bro, it's almost midnight and my school starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Well, that's not my fault. I didn't tell you to stay up, although I appreciate it. We've had people sometimes like uh, tuning in from, I know Robert's been on here when I end at around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. sometimes for him. For him. Would I try the McChee? You guys are hungry or something. 
Would I try the McChicken Big Mac? I might, but I'm I'm in no rush to do so. Get Sturdy is a popular TikTok dance. Okay, I'm going to look this up real quick. The Get Sturdy. Get Sturdy dance. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, no, looks too complicated for me. Looks too complicated for me. What's the Wednesday dance? I got to look it up. So it's tomorrow. It's the Thursday dance. But I'll, I'll match any dance you got. Okay, so it is a dance off. Gangnam style. <laughs> Gangnam style. So Murray's older than 48. Do the wipe. No one show Clay the WAP dance. No, Kaya, I'm looking it up right now just for you, my dear. WAP dance. Wait, is it is it gonna be something bad? Wap dance. Here, what's this? Oh no, what the heck? Cardi B and Megan the Stallion. I actually don't think I want to do the wap dance. Okay, let's watch let's watch it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, I know I will not be doing that one, that's for sure. Okay, quiet, 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 quiet. <laughs> So I got a staying alive dance. Wednesday dance is from Wednesday. Spin off of the 90s Adams families. Oh, I see. Dance off with Sean. I'm still standing. Kaya, yeah, Kaya has a test in 12 hours and she ran game over for me. What time do I usually wake up in the morning? Tomorrow it'll be 6.30 because I will be working out at 7. On days I don't work out, it should be 7.30 to get to work by 9. And when I'm feeling really lazy, I'll get up at 8.30 to get to work by 10. Wednesday dance, Sean dance off. Favorite fast food restaurant, fast food, truly. Um, I'm still a McDonald's guy. Quarter pounder with cheese meal. I also like uh, like those those quick f- um, food court Japanese places too. Moonwalk, WAP, Floss. Yes, every night. That's why my teeth are so good. Slow dance. I'm surprised someone didn't say slow dance on a pole. Um, Clay, no. Oh, no, no. Clay, do not dance. Clay. (laughs) All right. No problem, Hockey Edits. Thanks for being here. Trust me, Clay. Don't look. Oh, I looked it up. I know Lucas didn't like TikTok. Clay, uh, LMFAO, Clay, why? Wow, guys. You guys are so mean. William, it's your birthday in like a minute. Happy birthday. Maybe I'll dance for William for his birthday. Clip it. Why well, didn't dance yet? WAP is worship and prayer. Very good, Jack. Very good. You should sing Take On Me. He looked. AW Burger King. If I had to pick one of those two, Burger King. Clay gonna go after church now. I get now to confess after hearing that. Slow dance on a pole. I, <laughs> dance off like Star Lord Guardians of the Galaxy. And it is indeed Thursday. So let's end by greeting William a very happy birthday. Good. I, I did want to get to 12 so I could greet Will. Happy birthday. And you guys were awesome by giving me the worst dance suggestions in, this, in, the, um, in the chat. So I now have some research to do. Moderators, thank you for your good job. Hopefully you didn't have to do too much today, but I still appreciate you nonetheless. Legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang. Thanks for your support. Hall of Fame and franchise members. Thanks to all of you as well. And everyone else who donated tonight, it was Lucas, Carol, Justin, and Harry. Nice little variety there. Thank you. And to everyone who subscribed, who liked the video, who, who left a comment, I appreciate you as well. On your way out, you can do those things. Subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership. Listening on a podcast platform, make sure you rate and review. And tomorrow night, I will be doing one more stream for this week. Tomorrow night, um, come join me. It'll be worth your while. I'll be giving something away tomorrow. Uh, that's all I'll say. Something small, but uh, still something um, that is it, that you'll enjoy. Hint, hint. Something that you see every single stream. Hint, hint. So uh, join me tomorrow, and we'll do a small giveaway at the end of my stream. Well, hey, friends. I'm going to go. I'm going to figure out. my Well, my computer lasted. It still says 1%, so I'll, I'll worry about it tomorrow. Maybe I'll go plug it into a different... No, it's not even plugged into a... 
power it's plugged into its own power i don't know i don't know i will figure it out all right time to go will happy birthday everyone else thank you for being here as always stay safe oh and thanks to my sponsors van city experts real estate and perform and transform personal training and weight loss as always stay safe stay healthy take care of yourselves and take care of each other i was in a cab a couple of days ago and really really good taxi driver and he was really nice he says you know clay i, I told him my name he goes i love my job i'm my own boss i have my own hours i'm so flexible nobody tells me what to do and then i said can you turn left here please god bless and go connects go booyah Thank you.